guys, welcome back to part two. That's four, two. <laughs> um, so, like I said, this was a two-part haul because I just felt it was too long to put into one. Um, and this uh, this section, which is like a mixture of stuff, I just didn't feel it was enough to show you. Literally everything has been stolen from it. So I bought like um, bags of crisps and biscuits and, you know, like other stuff, toothbrushes, toothpaste, and they've taken everything. The, the, the bag is empty now. Literally, this is three different shops worth of stuff in one bag. So this is the newest bag I have. Uh, obviously, I have too many bags, but you know, we're just gonna get through it anyway, and you know, we'll, 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 you know, content, right? I'm just gonna move this down though, because it's very, it was very low, very low. Anyway, hi guys! <laughs> um, so, uh, coffee. So, like I said in my last, uh, the part one, I had a big box of coffee coming from, uh, Amazon. I buy them on subscription now. Sounds like prescription for coffee. It's a, a subscription. And um, I sometimes fancy an after dinner coffee. So I chose this vanilla latte. Um, this was from One Below. It was 175. One Below. You know. Uh, five Below, they should call it. But yeah, I, I picked up some vanilla coffee because you know me, coffee is life. I also got some new household gloves. I use these to wash up. I don't like my nails getting submersed in water, you know. So I use washing up gloves. I use washing up gloves. The last pair I bought was two pairs, actually. I bought them from Ikea last year. Like, I don't even rem remember what date it was, but it, it was last year I bought washing up gloves and they're still going strong. Like, they're the most amazing gloves I've ever bought. They don't pierce. They're really tough. Uh, when the water's really hot, they don't, you can't feel it so i was just like okay what was i doing my whole life with these but ikea is not that far but if i go there i know i'm gonna spend money so i tend to just stay away from it and only go twice a year um i also got some glasses but the plastic glasses these are just the ones i use for my resin um i reuse these quite a few times uh once the resin's dried out because you can sort of break the resin up inside and just peel it out and wash it out and start again so they're really handy um they were pound as well um so i have remains of biscuit uh, crisps left as well so they're just going to be in there um i got these two utensils they didn't have any other utensils i was hoping for um the slatted spoon for pasta but i found these i'm not sure if they were uh, just a pound because my bill when I counted My bill was higher than I expected. So it was probably these but I'm not sure um, But I got the spoon silicone spoon and a turner spatula sorry I'm drink some tea because mm. Hmm It's on the other side. It says tea makes everything better and it matches my top. I Have a turmeric tea in here yeah it's the new twinings turmeric it's really good guys really really good feels like i'm drinking soup out of <laughs> out of a huge bowl um anyway now i got my non-stick frying pan and i don't want to ruin it with a metal spatula so i bought this one and i might even get rid of the metal spatula because you know Anyway, it's old. I've had it for years and the, the metal bit here has come out. So I thought these, they're perfect. They're just plastic and silicone and they're quite sturdy. And it's got like the sharper edge at the front. So, you know, when you're turning burgers and stuff, it's going to oh, almost whack myself in the face. Um, and then a, a serving spoon. So it's not that deep. <laughs> it's not that deep. It's not that deep, but I feel this is going to do wonders with our slow cooker because I'm always... I make things with a wooden spoon in the slow cooker and the wooden spoon then isn't great for serving whatever's in there So this is going to be really handy because it's going to be nice and, and it's nice shaped as well The shape of it is lovely, but yeah, I'm going to stop talking about a, a spoon and get on with it um, Right, so I'm not sure which one's which from B&M now or one below um, Not B&M. Oh my god One below or pound shop 
but I found this toothbrush for my kids. So I bought a pack of free. Do I have the packet still? No, they've thrown that away too. Okay. So I bought a pack of free of the black um, toothbrushes. I don't know if they were Aquafresh or Colgate. I think it was Aquafresh. But it's a pack of free and they're the black handles and they've got like the circles uh, on the toothbrush. But anyway, they, they're gone. Uh, but I bought this one because my littlest one didn't get one. I bought them for me, but then the eldest two wanted new toothbrushes. Even though I just bought them toothbrushes from B&M. Um, like electric ones. But I said they need it more than she does. Because her teeth are really clean all the time. She never has any plaque build up. Nothing like that. She really goes goes to town when she brushes her teeth. The other two not so much. Um, and it was a problem when I was a kid. Like a lot of kids didn't brush their teeth very well. And by the time we were in our like teens. Half of us really had really bad teeth. Like... My teeth, I had, this was popcorn. That, that silver tooth broke from a, a popcorn kernel. Um, and that's why I've got a silver cap now. Because, you know. Um, but my fillings were all from sweets as a kid. Because um, my dad didn't believe that kids should be, um, that, that, like, they shouldn't have sweets. Like, sweets are a treat. But, hmm, too much of a treat and not proper brushing. So yeah but anyway toothbrush for the kid this was 125 i think so it wasn't even a pound but i'm hoping she likes it so i got some new toothpaste two new toothpaste so i bought two of these or oral, oral b um this is the cavity protection which again is what i'm trying to drum home to the kids you must brush your teeth twice a day um i brush mine i love the feeling of shiny like the smooth as shit teeth like mm, yeah it's it's got to be a thing um and i'm hoping my kids you know it hits home but look at the tube size like i'm not used to getting something for a pound and it being bigger than what i'm expecting and it does say bigger pack does it somewhere yeah big pack look big pack so yeah i'm hoping they like that it's in the bathroom anyway so i've got another one spare just in case any more teethy peg stuff? No. I got plasters. Kids love their plasters. They put them on, take them off, put them on, take them off, put them on, take them off. I don't know if anyone else's kids do that, but I find it weird as hell. Um, but it does also mean they don't get dirty. Like the plaster around the edge. You remember the, the fabric ones used to have? And they used to go dirty around the edges. Yeah, so maybe it's a good thing. But that was a pound. I got some... Oh, that's from one below. No, from ABC Pharmacy. I'll do that after. These nasal inhalers. I was sick last week and the week before, so that wasn't fun. Um, <laughs> this is what I bought for the chocolate on the carpet. I told you in my part one that someone put chocolate on my carpet and didn't clean it, so it's stained. Um, then the paint stain. So <laughs> I bought some of this. This is the Oxy Active. Um, I'm hoping it works. So it's fabric stain remover. Tough on stains, gentle on fabrics. And it's by Astonish. Instant stain removal, it says. I will test it and I will let you know. Uh, also got some more stuff for the kid and myself. Like, I don't use these as often. But I do feel like these are getting very expensive, guys. Very expensive. Like, I'm fed up of buying them. Um, so, yeah, I'm... Um, oh, I bought three of these. There's only one in here. Um, so these are just the toilet flushable wipes um, for, the, for the youngest one. She likes a clean butt. So I buy those for her. The other stuff was um, all crisps. So I bought the Walkers. Buy one. No, so they're 150 each. Or are they 150? 175 each. And you get two for two for three pounds um, from Pound Shop. So I bought pom bears, ready salted chicken and prawn cocktail. Oh, skips as well. They've all gone. Like they've eaten everything. And these are the only two bags of evidence that I have left to show you that I actually did buy crisps. Okay, I did buy crisps. But this is all that's left. Um, the last thing I got. So this is from Poundland. Um, these are the thin and medium bobbles. Uh, 50 pack in here but look at those colors it just is summer 
it, minus yellow, that would be the epitome of summer, summertime, that all those lovely colours. Um, so these are for my kids, but I'm going to steal a couple and make a few hair bubbles for my shop as well, because they're really decent hair bubbles and you don't find these often enough anymore. So they, they're joined with a, uh, the glue bit here. So, and they're really stretchy. So these are going to work perfect with my hair, the crochet hair bubbles. So I'm going to make a few for summer, but only make like, I'm just going to take two of each of the thick ones. They can have all the small ones. Um, but yeah, lovely. Pound. Um, the last thing I got that I can actually show you was the Sulfidine headache tablets. Now guys, I swear by these. Not an ad. Not an ad. I promise. But I suffer with headaches three days before my period every month. And sometimes they're excruciating and I can't even stand up. Um, these are the only things that seem to work. And the sort of like the forehead patch things, I wear those as well because yeah. But thank thank the Lord for these. Um, I don't know what I'd do without them. It says caffeine as well, and I'm just like caffeine good for headaches because when I read it, it says stop drinking coffee, and I'm like oh, but I love my coffee. But yeah, um, sulfine headache. So this was the last thing I got. But yeah, I'm gonna go. And uh, try not to do any shopping this week. Um, obviously, I am trying to cut down on waste uh, and my money. I'm trying to not spend as much, which means less videos on shopping. But I know you will love that. Um, I will still buy stuff, of course, but it would just be the videos will be lesser. Um, I hope you guys don't mind. I know you guys are there for me. I know, um, which I appreciate. So there will be, I'm going to try and think of other videos I can do that sort of coincide with the lifestyle and what I started with, like homeware and stuff. So yeah, we're going to get there in the end. I just need to have some inspiration. I need inspiration. So, but yeah, I, I just want to say thank you to everybody and new and old OGs and noobs, newbies. I appreciate you all uh, for watching and for being here. And um, yeah, I will see you in my next video. Not sure what that's going to be, but we will be there. <laughs> and hopefully you will too. So take care of yourselves, guys. Uh, happy shopping. Stay positive. Stay smiling. I love you all. And um, yeah, have a good week. Mwah, 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 mwah. Bye.